Welcome to this video. Modern humans were created, made by humans. Amerindians systematically made, created, hybridized, not evolved, some of the most important crops and staple crops. 60% of what we 8 billion modern humans eat today, potatoes, corn, cassava, beans, and many other crops, is provenly produced by crops made, created, hybridized, not evolved, by Amerindians at least thousands of years ago. I deliberately say made because this making was not achieved by domestication or evolution, but by advanced genetic manipulation. So advanced our researchers or scientists do not see a chance to come even close to what the Amerindians achieved thousands or millions of years ago. There were no wild potatoes, corn, cassava, beans, etc. to be domesticated, they made them without any of these. Obviously the Amerindians were able to create new species, and modern scientists are not able to create new species. What modern scientists do today is what is called picking the symbolical, low-hanging fruits, playing with variations that create temporary resistance, and this pretty much by a kind of trial and error that does not stand the time and presence, nearby biodiversity, of other crops, as the staple crops made by Amerindians thousands of years ago clearly did and still do. If modern humans were not made or hybridized by humans, but if they only depended on mutations, then we should have found out all of this, origin, evolution, etc., since day one we were able to analyze our DNA, this is so since analyzing DNA obviously also uncovers all present mutations. Haplotypes point to a mosaic origin of modern human diversity. Mosaic origin and creation origin are pretty much the same thing. If it had been a gradual evolution, there would never have been a mosaic origin. You do not have a new model of a car if you did not create and produce a new model. An old car does not evolve to a new model and car. Pointing to a mosaic origin of modern humans includes or points to 1. Points to the creation of modern humans. 2. Does not tell us what created modern humans or what caused the mosaic origin. 3. That most probably advanced humans created modern humans. To know what or who created modern humans is not our priority, not even one of my objectives, and this for several reasons. What is of importance is finally find out our origin DNA or genome, understand it and use the acquired knowledge, only, in order to avoid the perfect storm we modern humans got ourselves into and to avoid the extinction that is a rather inevitable consequence of this by consensus scientists and health organizations recognized perfect storm. 4. Most probably the knowledge to create hybrids of originals of plants, animals and humans got irreversibly lost probably completely by the ending of the Roman Empire. But if we modern humans would become open to already done research and the gathered facts, I claim we could recover at least part of that lost knowledge, or we would at least acquire sufficient knowledge to stop the acute rather exponential degeneration of our DNA that seemed to have set in this exponential pace of degeneration roughly in around 1995. Climate change is something that happens in parallel with the degeneration of our DNA, it most probably is associated, but it certainly is not the sole cause of the degeneration of our DNA. The temporal and spatially associated coronavirus epidemics, SARS, MERS, etc., the re-emergence of viral and bacterial diseases like Yersinia pestis and diseases associated with Yersinia pestis, the dips in and bending down of life expectancy curves that all followed in frequency and severity since that time, exponential degeneration of our DNA since 1995, show us the severity of the perfect storm we got ourselves in. Further associations and parallels with earlier human epidemics and extinction periods could give us, I claim they do provide us, a clear insight in the causes of the actual exponential degeneration of our DNA, I present that earlier human epidemics and extinction periods provide clear insights in the causes of the actual exponential degeneration of our DNA in other videos. This is the end of this video, thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you in our next video. Bye.